Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm mostly filming about BMWs, but sometimes I can post stuff about other cars. But today I wanted to specifically talk about BMWs and staggered setup wheels. I wanted to show you this little tool that I found on the internet that can help you have staggered setup wheels on BMWs with X drive system. And the reason I'm showing you my X5M it's because it already comes with stagger setup from the factory for those who follow my channel and watch my video constantly you guys remember that i'm modifying my 535 station wagon and currently i'm waiting for more parts the very first part was about installation of staggered wheels i have 19 inch wasson wheels these are directional uh, i believe it's a cvt model i like these wheels and they come in staggered setup and there is a theory that if you run a staggered setup on all-wheel drive BMW uh, you may have issues with a transmission or transfer case and I wanted to show you guys this little tool that can help you get a correct wheel diameter this is the size of my front tires and my rear wheels and because E61 in the United States was sold only with all-wheel drive Many people believe that you cannot have staggered setup wheels on the car that was not designed uh, to have uh, staggered wheels from the factory. And right now I'm going to my computer. I will show you guys this tool, which will help you select correct wheel sizes and tire sizes for your BMW with X drive. And I will show you what you have to look for this when you want to enter the data in this tool. And I hope it's going to be very helpful for people who decide to install or upgrade to staggered wheels and uh, if you guys have any questions please don't uh, hesitate to comment and right now you can see this table that i created in microsoft word uh, this is a bmw year and model here's our x5m our family car and i put front and rear tire sizes and also in green you can see if this car was originally or designed to have a stagger setup from the factory it says yes and I just selected random cars from local BMW dealerships in our area so I just googled them basically and uh, put their tire sizes and also put the, the design to have stagger setup wheels of course and in the very bottom I have my BMW 535 which is 2009 model and originally from the factory but it was not designed to have staggered wheels and without further ado i would like to show you this tool it's called tiresize.com and here you can see my uh, tire sizes for my station wagon what you have to do is click this compare button and then you will see this information in this uh, area over here the most important part that you have to look for is your circumference. This is going to be your fourth data. And you must keep in mind that your circumference must be less than 1%. As you can see that for my car, it's way below 1%, so I should be fine. And using this tool, you can take a look at the tires, how they're going to compare. And this tool provides various information. As um, you can see on this graph over here, you can see the width of the tire. This is a rear one. This is the front one. And also, what the difference is going to be when your tire will be rotating. So you can see this is a very helpful tool. This is not the only one that is available online, but this is one of the most uh, useful I could find. I will list two more tools in the description below and also i wanted to show you this uh, table that i created after i added all this information about these cars in my list uh, when i entered this data in tiresize.com calculator our x4m is the closest to perfection basically with this uh, system it stands at zero percent circumference 2020 m5 with tires uh, like you can see right here is at above 1.1 percent circumference so you can see you can go a little bit more than one percent and my station wagon that i'm modifying which is not designed to have staggered wheels from factory is at 
way below 1% of circumference. So you guys can use this tool to figure it out if you can run staggered setup wheels on your car with X drive system. And uh, this is what you have to look for, circumference percentage, which is located on this tool over here. And for some reason, when I entered my data, it was 0.8. And when I just uh, ran it again for my video, now it's at a 0.4. So it's pretty close, I would say, but this is not the only tool you can use. Like I said before, I'm gonna link other tools in the description below and you can check those out. Mm -hmm. The main point of all this is, yes, you can run staggered wheels on BMWs with X drive systems that were not originally designed by BMW to have those wheels and you just have to keep in mind that you have to run the correct size and circumference must be less than 1%. And this is the tool you can use and I hope you guys can find this video helpful. If you do, please give it a like and I will see you in next videos.